And now let's head down to the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He sends this one deep. And he's tackled at the 25. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tackle at the positive yardage. Make it and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Under heavy pressure, and they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Robinson back to return it. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle made at the 29. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. at about the 39-yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. Dumps it left side. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Brown gains six yards with a short completion. Second down, four yards to go. Ball on the 45. Play action. He's got the corner. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. He showed his athletic ability on that one. There you see the things we've been talking about all week, which is the athleticism, the ability to improvise, and the big play capability all in one play. What a spectacular run. From the 29-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 34. Great run, nothing going on there. Third down and they need to get it to the 19. He scrambled. This one's going deep to the end zone. Picked off by the senior. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. Man down, and he's in some pain right now. 
from their own 20-yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 33. He goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That makes it second and two. Gains his way to midfield. That's a deep First and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Mike five. Mike five. Eagles. 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 They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Well, the Tigers defensive back left the game with that injury earlier. Looks like he's going to be able to get back in the secondary. He laterals the ball. He's knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Down at the 27 yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. From the 27 yard line, third down. Fumble. Using those good hands, he scoops up the fumble. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Clemson could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. So the freshman kicker isn't able to put it through. Still no score. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Throws to the right to his fullback, and he's tackled at the 36. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 36. He's got it with room to run. And he shoved out of bounds at the 45. I think the quarterback there really sensed the pressure was coming. He did a nice job of being able to avoid the pressure, still keep his focus and vision downfield, and made the good throw for the first down. And he's taken down at the 46. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. 
He's pushed out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Kentucky is looking to go up by three. It's up. Looks long enough. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. And they get nice yardage on that run. They're about four yards away here on second down. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. Kentucky's got a three-point lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Swanson awaits the snap. Booming kick. Nice yardage on the run back. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Kentucky holds a field goal lead. Tackle for a loss. But well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Nice run to the left there. Three. 
They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. And now they should come away with pretty good field position, so consider that a big stop. Shipley, back deep to return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He takes it at the 12, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Caught with room to work. Tackle at about the 45. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Mike five, Mike five. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. Just put it. Fox two, Fox two. He gets to about the 34 yard line. Makes his way to about the 22. From the 22-yard line, first down. The halfback with a carry. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a D five on the play. That brings him second and five. the tailback and he makes it out to about the 17 yard line they're about four yards away here on third down dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle what a play and that is first and goal that makes it first and goal Pass. Tackle made at the three-yard line. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. It's away from him. Touchdown. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an eight play, 79 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 7-3. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. it to the 38 yard line from their own 38 yard line first down
incomplete. Brock down, nothing doing. No good game for him. That makes it second and ten. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And they'll run him again. He tackles him for a loss. Chipley is back deep to return the punt. He fields the punt at the 20. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Clemson holds a four-point lead. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From their own 39-yard line, third down. Looks middle, got his back. They'll drop in for a loss. So the defense will hold them as they go three and out. Picture perfect defense on that try. That's what the defensive coordinator wants to see every single time. Robinson will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. Gets to about the 27-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That makes it 37. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. The Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 39. He wants it all. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. That makes it second and 10. Scrambling around. And they'll look to convert here on another third down.
Throws it in a hurry. Right down. At about the 49. Taken down right around the 28 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Clemson leads it 7 6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defenses doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And Right now, I don't see many holes, and I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Chucks it downfield. Can't pull it in. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. And now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Chipley awaiting the return. <laughs> and he's tackled at the 28. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Clemson, up a point. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. At the 30, to the 20. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. And 
gets caught for two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. So the offense will come back out onto the field hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. their own 22 yard line second down he gets hit out of bounds right around the 32 yard line the stop around the 45 yard line first and 10 ball on their own 45 play fake and looking to run and he has it on the corner looks like he's going to run brought down in the open field a good quarterback knows when and how to improvise and if he's got the skills he can also turn a scramble into something big the 37 yard line it's first down now he tries to buy some time and they bring him down for a sack on the play that makes it second and 14. can't get away from the pressure. How about the intensity of the pass rush? If they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's level at the 42-yard line. Swanson awaits the snap. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Kentucky up seven points. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Gives it off, and he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player, because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Slings it, and he's taken down the 30-yard. From their own 30-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. He 
He fights forward to about the 36. Call it a game of two yards. That'll bring up 34. And here's another third down. Under pressure. Got a man tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Kentucky is up seven. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 36. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On play action. Steps up. He airs it out. Interception. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. They give to the tailback. Tackle around the 44-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48s. Steps out at the 50-yard line. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, trying to kick it out of bounds. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. i got to give this defense credit, Kirk. Brad, I don't know what the heck's going on with this offense. They just haven't been able to come away with anything. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of yards. That'll make it 35. Wide receiver screenplay. They'll bring him down at the 33. That's good for a game of yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. He lets it fly. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Throws to the right to his fullback. Brought down around the 42-yard line. 
That makes it second and six. Makes it out to about the 33. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Fires quick. He's got another one. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. Kentucky's lead is a touchdown. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. That makes it second and it's the ninth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Mike five, Mike five. Yeah. Yeah. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tackles him hard at the 14. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes. Right around the eight-yard line. Here's the 12th play of the drive. There's a play fake. Fires to the end zone. Picked off. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 14-yard line, first down. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. Makes it to the 24. That's good for a of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Tight right, tight right. Pull it out, pull it out. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check right, check the ball. Go, go. Place the Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion. Oh, no, 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 no. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. A delay doesn't always work unless the ball carrier lets the play open in front of him. Of course, you need some good blocking too, which they had here on this play. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That'll make it second and seven. Makes it out to about the 43. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. Makes it to the 44. 
Here's the eighth play of the series. Kentucky is up a score. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 24-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Zips it to the back. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. It's up. And it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 17-7, Kentucky. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. It's been a tough outing for this quarterback, Irby. The thing that's standing out to me right now, Brad, is this defense has been so consistent with their pass rush that I'm noticing the quarterback's eyes, instead of looking downfield and reading the defense, he's actually looking down at the pressure and is more concerned about that than making the proper read. He doesn't have a whole lot of time left to redeem himself. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Throws it to the outside. Quick throw, picked off. He's at the 40. He's tackled at about the 35. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. He's at the 20. And he hits him hard at the 15-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets out to about the 15-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. From the 15-yard line, second down. That was a strange decision. I have absolutely no clue why they're trying a pass play. 
It's third and five. Ten yards to the end zone. Here's the halfback, heading for the corner. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Normally, you look for the pass in those kinds of situations. But a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. Kicks away, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. He heaves it deep. Picked off. It's the ball walking senior. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. From their own 45-yard line. It's second down. Takes it left side and he's brought down in the backfield. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Shipley takes it at the 16. They'll bring him down at the 25. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, 20 to 7, Wildcats. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.